dear students welcome to the online video lecture on fluid mechanics so hope the whatever concepts we have discussed in the previous video so you have understood all those concepts so today in this video we will going to start with a new concept so without wasting much time let us begin with our session so in the previous video we have discussed the minor losses so that is loss of head due to sudden contraction as well as loss of head due to sudden enlargement so today in this video we will going to discuss the remaining minor losses that is loss of head due to at the entrance of pipe then loss of head at the exit of in a pipe then loss of head due to the bend in the pipe then loss of head in the various pipe fitting and the last one is loss of head due to the obstruction in the pipes so now this is a loss of head at the entrance of an a pipe so loss of head due to the contraction and enlargement which we have already discussed in the previous video now this is a, a loss of head at the entrance of pipe so this is also one more type of an a minor losses so this losses of head or energy is observed when the fluid is entering the pipe which is connected to large tank means at this section this losses will be observed Okay, when the fluid is entering to the pipe, so at the entrance of the pipe, these losses are observed, and this loss is similar to the loss of head due to the sudden contraction because the large tank will be having some different size when the fluid is entering in this pipe. So there is a, or uh, it is this uh, loss is similar to the contraction because there is a change in the diameter of a pipe. and this loss depends upon the type of entrances so that is for sharp edges here so what here for sharp edges the losses are slightly more than the curve edges means if the pipe are like this if they are given some curve so then the losses will be less okay if the pipes are given a sharp edges as in this figure the losses will be more now this is denoted by this loss is de denoted by hi okay so then it is given by the equation 0.5 v square divided by 2g okay where v is a velocity through this uh, pipe or the velocity of in a fluid and g is a gravitational constant and the next type minor loss is loss of head at the exit of in a pipe now this loss so this is a simple figure which shows the how the fluid is flowing in the at the exit of pipe now this loss of head is observed when the velocity of in a liquid at the outlet of in a pipe which is dissipated either in the form of free jet either in the form of free jet or it is lost in the tank so at this section we observe the this loss of head and it is denoted by letter ho it is denoted by that is loss of head at the exit is denoted by ho and it is given by v square divided by 2g where v is a velocity of this fluid and in this section and g is a gravitational constant next type of uh, minor loss is that is the loss of head due to the pipe bend so whenever there is an a bend in the pipe so whenever there is a bend in the pipe the velocity flow changes due to which the separation of the flow from boundary means the flow separation of the boundary and the the formation of eddies takes place at this sections and thus there is some loss of energy okay and this loss of energy is known as loss of head due to the bend so this loss of head is mainly due to the separation of flow from the boundary and which initiates the formation of bond eddies formation of flow eddies so thus this losses will be observed at the bend section okay now this is denoted by the letter hb the loss of head is denoted by hb and it is given by k into v square divided by 2g where v is a velocity of in a fluid g is a gravitational constant and k is coefficient of bend it is 
coefficient of bend it is a coefficient of bend so the next type of uh, minor losses are the loss of head at various pipe fittings so these losses of head are due to the various pipe fitting arrangements such as valves then couplings then um, elbows etc so these losses are given by and it is denoted by letter hf okay and it is denoted by k into v square divided by 2g it is almost similar to the the losses due to the pipe bends and where v is a velocity through this pipe arrangement and g is a gravitational constant and k is a coefficient of coefficient of pipe fitting and this equation is similar to that of head loss due to the bends the next type of uh, minor losses is that is the loss of head due to the obstruction and this uh, type of losses are more commonly seen okay whenever there is an any obstruction in the pipe okay so there is a loss of head occurs due to the reduction in the cross sectional area because this presence of an obstacle reduces the flow area in a pipe and at this particular section the cross the flow area becomes less as a result the loss of head is observed now this after this section you can see that there is a sudden enlargement means when the fluid is moving so first it will be compressed here and set and after this obstacle there will be the enlargement in the cross sectional area okay now let area the let a be the area of a pipe so let a is the area of this complete cross sectional pipe and small a is a area of this obstacle so this is a area of an obstacle and v is a velocity through this pipe velocity through this pipe now the area the actual area at section 1 1 will be it is nothing but at 1 1 section the area will be nothing but cross sectional area at this section minus area of an obstacle okay now let vc that is vc be the velocity of an liquid at contraction so here the contraction is observed by the fluid so that vc is a velocity at contraction when a contraction now we know that the loss of head due to the obstruction is nothing but loss of head due to the enlargement from vena contraction to section 2 so from here there will be the enlargement in the area and even the fluid will also enlarges now it is given by equation that is vc minus v holes square divided by 2g so this we have already know that is loss of head due to the sudden enlargement okay now from continuity equation from continuity equation we have from continuity equation we have ac into vc will be equals to a into v okay a into v now now from this the cross sectional area at, okay now cc is a coefficient of okay cc is a coefficient of contraction if the cc is a coefficient of contraction then cc is given by area at vena contraction at it that is ac divided by the actual area means what a flow area so that is a minus a so this is a area of vena contraction and this is a flow area that is a nothing but coefficient of contraction now from this equation from this equation i can get ac that is nothing but cc into a minus b so i'll just rewrite it here okay so from this equation i can get ac that is i can write cc a minus a into vc will be equals to a into v okay 
So if I simplify this one, I will get the velocity at when our contract section that is VC will be equals to AV divided by AC sorry CC CC A minus A. Okay, this is a velocity at when our contract section. Now we already know that the that is the loss of head due to the sudden enlargement is given by that is HO and it is denoted by letter HO so that is VC minus V divided by 2G this is whole square now let us substitute this VC in this equation therefore that is A V divided by CC a minus a minus v divided by 2g and this will be whole bracket okay now if i simplify this one if i simplify and if i take v square outside okay if i simplify this equation if i simplify this equation i will get head loss at abstraction that is head loss due to the abstraction will be v square divided by 2g bracket a divided by cc a minus small a minus 1 whole square now this equation is used to identify the loss of head due to the any abstraction now v is a velocity of in a fluid g is a gravitational constant a is a cross sectional area of in a pipe CC is a coefficient of vena contraction that is nothing but area at vena contract are divided by actual area flow area okay now this equation is used to identify the head loss due to the obstruction based on these equation the numericals will be asked in your university examination and if you have any doubts in these minor losses you can comment it and I will try to uh, clarify your doubts